Yo, what's up everybody? Jumpin' here, and I am back with my noob's guide for Elden Ring. In the last episode, we were doing the snow field, where the one thing I didn't do over here was this area, because this is gonna take us to the hollow tree, which is the hardest spot in the entire game. So, we're gonna actually be doing some of that in this episode. So I'm gonna suffer, there's no doubt. Now before we do that though, I do also want to go and clear this blood palace because I almost forgot about it. So that needs to be done as well. And I have missed a couple items and things in the Caleb area. Somebody pointed this out to me. And I also got another comment talking about like a talisman that I missed where I did get that talisman. And I thought I also got this stuff, but nope. There's a couple things here that I completely missed. So I want to go back and get all that. Before I do anything, though, I am actually currently at this Herman Merchant's Shack in the capital outskirts. I'm here because I want to buy a torch. This is going to help us not really do much, but it's going to allow us to see enemies. Now, here's the thing, guys. I've been really sick, okay? One sec. <coughs> yeah, sorry. I've been really, really sick with a cold where I've been completely congested, I've lost my voice. Man, when I'm sick, my nose is a demon where I look like Santa Claus, it's so red. I've just been really, really sick lately. And there will be times here that I might actually just do a quick little cut because I either need to blow my nose really bad or I have to cough like a lot. If that happens, it's gonna suck. But I've just been putting this off way too long i did try to record this episode but i was way too sick at that time and i was coughing so much i was like there's no way i can do this but i do feel better now so hopefully i can actually get through this episode even though i still am sick and everything now one thing i want to quickly do is level up my faith to 10 with the great rune active i should be able to use that sentry torch no problem now, let me go to the Caleb area real quick and actually get this stuff. So, the very first thing is, and I think I know what happened here. Basically, there's a couple areas over here that I haven't done because these were areas that I discovered basically in episode one. And when I did go through this area, I didn't actually, like, come back through here for whatever reason. One is right down there. So, from this shack where we are, there is actually some ruins down there. Now, I think I can maybe jump off, but let's just be safe. Let me go around. And there is a sword you can get down here, which is actually a really, really cool sword. It is a sleep sword and allows you to put the enemies to sleep. And mainly it's really good in PvP and stuff because being able to put someone to sleep is like a death sentence for them. And yeah, there's a giant bird. Ah, leave me alone. Let me try to find if there's any basic items, but you do need to open up a stone key over here to actually get to where the sword is. Hello, hello. There's also another, like, ruin that I haven't done either, which blew my mind because I was like, there's no way I skipped that one, but yeah, I must have. All right, I'm not seeing any little items right now, so I might just go ahead and kill this stupid bird just to get it out the way. Ah! You know what? You hop off. Oh, God, there's two of them. Well, let's test the weapon out. Okay, one hit knocked him down. Leave me alone. The birds are so OP. They really are. There we go. We about to be fighting some strong birds here in a second in that blood palace. The birds there are just insane. Now I can have some peace, and let's grab the one item that I actually see. Thank you. Not that at this point we really need any of these low level upgrades anymore but yeah let me just look around all right let's go ahead and open this up and we can grab this sword then from this actual location there is a scarab that i didn't get and there's actually the great sword which i never got because i pointed these out in episode one and i just never came back so you'll see in a second so there's the sword that i was missing now let's go ahead and come up top and i will hop on my horse and i'll try to show you where we're going we are going to head over here basically this is like right next to this 
shack as well that we started at. So there's the ruins over there. Those ruins over there, that's another spot I haven't done actually yet. I never actually did those ruins. I have the grace right there. I just never did them. All right, so we're going to head on over this way. Now, if you're quick, you can probably grab the sword and get out of there. But there is also a scarab over here. And there's a upgrade material or something. So just try to be quick. Open it up. Come on, come back, come on. By the way, this is a great weapon to start the game. Like, I love that weapon so much. Oh, my God, I got to get on the horse. There we go. Now let's go get the scarab. One hit should do it. Hello. Goodbye. And that is actually an incantation. So, yeah. Oh, my God. I can't believe I missed that. And let me look around real quick. Hey, buddy. There is an upgrade material up here. So let's go ahead and grab that as well. And I think that's it. But we can actually make our way over to these ruins right now. Just kind of cut through all these guys. And while I'm at it, I'll look for some small items just because I haven't actually explored this area yet. There we go. There's something right there. Ow! Ow! I'm on fire! You stupid bird. Leave me alone. Give me that item. Thank you. Now, let's run. Get back on the horse and start taking off. There we go. So, yeah, the runes are right here. There is a grace right next to them. So, we've been had these for a minute. I'm going to try to hit the grace. Come on, come on, come on. Got it. And I'll show you on the map real quick where this is. But, yeah, it's these runes right here. I discovered them. I never did them. Also, let me get rid of that. Get that off the map. Now, let me look around. I know that this is where you can actually get this shield. Like, the enemies here are these, like, giant shield enemies or whatever they are. I don't know. But you can actually get the shield version of, I don't know, these enemies. I can't talk. It's hard. I'm sick. Forgive me. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second here. Just going to double check and make sure I'm not missing anything. And th you know what? There is actually a boss battle here, too. That's another crazy thing. So this was a boss that I also missed, which is nuts. You see those guys? You can actually get a shield that can do that. And it is very, very powerful to be honest with you it's pretty good i personally wouldn't use it but you know i could see it being used in a build and being very awesome now let's just find the staircase going down i'm just kind of looking for bonus items and stuff but the staircase is somewhere around here hello you're not guarding anything are you here it is all right oh leave me alone wow that looks really cool i'm gonna be honest all right let's walk inside Gonna summon and come on, go to town. Oh my god, his weapon is OP, especially against weaker enemies at this point. Hello, it looks like this weapon's not doing so great. Oh my god, that one guy's not dead. Oh, oh god, all right, die, please. There we go, and you're still alive. That's amazing. Got him. That's a double pumpkin head. Light. Now we can open this up and let's go inside and get this pretty cool shield. There you go. Now, can I get out of here? Nope. Ah, uh, crap. The enemies are out there. Are they like almost dead? What's going on with these guys? They might be fighting each other by accident. Oh, okay, cool. So check this out. I don't even know how to get here. I'm gonna be honest. Ow! Okay, let me alone for a second. Oh, wait. There's an item over here, too. Let's go grab that. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. This is going to be a nightmare grabbing this and trying to run. See you later. I did it for the heavy bones. Now, let's get the hell out of here. Okay. And I'm going to try to get back to the grace, maybe, to reset this area. Uh, where is that grace? It's, like, right over here. Okay. I'm going to hit that. And then... This little place I'm going to go to, I've never been here before. I've never been here before. And I just noticed this when I was, like, looking at this area. Because the sword was pointed out to me, the sleep sword, that I missed it. And I thought, there's no way I missed that. And I looked through all my items, and I was like, I guess I must have. And while I was looking around, trying to figure out where it was, because I'm like, how did I miss this? And I realized it was here. That's when I realized that there was actually another spot over here. That I missed. This is one of those jails or prisons. I have no idea how to get to it though. 
I'm assuming that we go from somewhere. I don't know. Well, I'm about to cough again. So I'm going to cut this ahead. I'm going to actually teleport here. I'm going to see you guys in a moment. Okay, so remember the abandoned cave? This place was so awful. It's like that scarlet rot area. Well, just outside here, I know that you can get down to the bottom, which we have explored that down there. We've been down that way. But the question is, wait, where's my thing? Where is that at exactly? Okay, I'm gonna try to figure this out, but I mean, seriously, I have never ever been here before. So I have no idea where this is at. It's gonna be one of the jail boss fights though. So let me go around real quick and see, is it up top or what? Cause that's where the marker is taking me. It's all the way up there. So let's just ride all the way around and see. I mean, yeah, it looks like it's up there. But how do we get over there? Huh. Okay, maybe we gotta go all the way around this way. I don't know. I'll check it out, though. I'm actually kind of close to where I was before. I am actually really close to where I was before. So this is, like, where you can jump across to get to that, like, dragon area. See, this is just bringing back episode one flashbacks to me. That's all this is doing so far. Okay, so we jump over this way, and now we can just kind of hug this right side. I can see why maybe I've never found this before, because normally I just head right to the Grace, and then to the tower, or like to the fort. I never really go up this way. So yeah, is there anything else up here? Okay, I'm going to assume it's down there is where I'm going. Let's go ahead and hop off, and head on over. You know, there's actually another boss battle over here. I would have to look it up. <sighs> okay, I think I'm gonna do it. Hey, look at this. Where's the giant for this? Huh. Well, I'll have to think about that. But yeah, I'm gonna go and do it. There's a super, super secret mini boss. And I've seen a video of someone doing it before, but I have never done it before, so. It's really close to the fort in this area. And you have to do some crazy gravity drop-off stuff. That looks like a dragon. I'm assuming that's what we can use to break that thing. Alright, well let's come in here first and do this. Then I'll figure out, is there a way to break that thing? Well, there will be a way. So we can't summon in here, but I'm assuming we're going to be pretty strong for whatever this thing is. I'm going to actually drink my drink. And let's go forward and see what is this exactly. Hello. Oh, okay. Cool. You are so dead. It's ridiculous. Just get cheese. And what do we get out of here? Come on. Okay, we got a ash. Cool. Not the craziest reward, but you know, we're trying to do everything right. And it's important that you guys point these things out. If I can catch them, because I read the comments, if I catch this stuff, I will investigate it. And if I figure out that, you know, hey, wait a minute, I didn't miss something. You know, sometimes people do leave comments, like I said. Somebody said I missed uh, one of the legendary talismans. I'm gonna show you which one it was. It's in the capital outskirts, but I remember clearly I got this. It's over here, so yeah. You know, sometimes people will say I missed something. It's just probably because they missed that particular episode. They didn't see me go and get it. Or they just skipped that part by accident. But if I do see something that I am missing, yeah, I will definitely try to go and get it. All right, so I'm assuming we can wake this dragon up. Hello, dragon. How you doing? And take him on over to wherever that thing was. It was over here, right? That's a long way for that dragon to chase me. Where is this thing? It is over here. Oh god. Now I don't know where that thing is. Crap! This is not good. Well, Dragon, I hope you're still trying to kill me. While I look around and try to figure out where that is. You know it's gonna be nothing. Oh, uh, here it is. Alright, good. It's gonna be just some, like, random upgrade materials for this area. Probably, like, fours and fives and stuff. Alright, come on. Come on over here. I hope this is not a trick, though. It's always a trick with these stupid statues. Dude, that's a really far way for him to come over. Come on, man, please. Over here. You see me, right? Fly, do something. 
uh, is that not who we need? Who else could it be? Come on, dude. This way. Over here. Okay, he's flying. He's flying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on over. Come on over. There we go. Just a little bit more. Uh, slowly, he's making his way over here. No, no, no. Don't turn around. Whatever you do. This way. This way. Tack. Come on. Fire breath. Something. Fire breath should probably do it, right? I would imagine. It would break this thing. Oh my god, this is painful. Oh, it works though. He's definitely coming over. Alright, come on. Why are you so friendly, man? Now you're gonna do that, huh? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stomp away. There we go. Oh my god, that hurt. Alright, I need to chug. And I'm getting off this horse, and I am gonna spam my weapon against you like crazy. Let's go. He's gonna fall down, and I'm gonna go smack him in the big face and try to get the crit as well. Yes, and is you dead? You did. All right, give me these, and yeah, that's cool, I guess. And is that it? I think that was it for the things here that I noticed that I missed. You know, there's gonna be things I will miss, there's no doubt in my mind. Like, I want this to be like 100%, right? But I always kind of knew that this was going to be probably like a 95% walkthrough just because there's little tiny items and stuff that they're just easy to miss. All right, so now I think I'm good. I'm going to actually upgrade my shield real quick. So let me go back and I'll do that just because I keep forgetting to finally upgrade the shield and it needs to be done. It really does. And then we're going to make our way over to the Blood Palace and start doing all that stuff. So let's talk to this dude. And upgrade the shield. And now we finally got our shield to max. So that's awesome. Also, let me pop one of these souls. Just so that I can actually level up right now. And I don't have to hold on to all these runes. Of course I called it souls, but you know how that is. Let's go ahead and level up Endurance, because I've noticed that if I don't have my Great Rune on, I think I'm fat rolling. I'm not sure, but it's probably not a bad idea doing that. All right, now I can go to the Blood Palace. And I'm going to start at the beginning, because we're going to kind of just work our way through this area. I'm going to try to fight most of the enemies. Like, there's going to be some spots I'm just not going to bother. But I'm going to try to fight, because that is kind of my general rule. I want to fight the enemies at least once. And then we can, you know, actually skip them if I die or something like that. But I do definitely think I'm going to die multiple times in this episode. Because that hollow tree, oh god, that's going to be rough. Alright, well, I'm going to cut this ahead. I'm going to see you guys in a moment. Alrighty, I went ahead and equipped the bow. But let me go ahead and shoot this bird. And try to get rid of the bird right away. So, this is a good spot, by the way. And there's a message here, so... Definitely. It's always weird and awkward, like, finding the right spot. And every time you do that, you, I always feel like they patched it. I'm like, did they patch this? But, I don't know. I don't see them ever actually being able to completely fix that. Unless they move the bird. That's an option, I guess. Alright, let's go in and pick all this stuff up. There was an item over there. I just wanted to make sure to grab that. And you can actually fight these guys. I mean, I will real quick. I'm pretty sure one power attack. Yep, one power attack will kill them. And the ones who are just sitting down chilling, you know, you can do this for like some free XP and stuff, but the only dangerous ones are the ones who are actually like standing up coming after me right now. So technically, I don't actually have to fight the ones sitting down. Because that's just kind of mean anyway. There we go. That running R2, by the way, is so freaking good. I hate that. You have to, like, roll out of the way of that. You cannot try to block that. You will get wrecked. There we go. And let's take him out. And, yeah, the rest of these guys, I'm going to leave alone just because they're not hostile. They're just chilling. That's going to be my rule right now. If the enemies are chilling and not hostile, I'm not going to attack them. And that's going to be very good for later, because later, trust me, there's like a million enemies and they're all not hostile. So right here, this is a good opportunity to try to hit them all with the running R2. Oh my god, I only got one! Oh god, come on, do it again, do it again! 
Yes, got three of them that time. And again. All right, yeah. We cooking. Oh, crap. You and your garbage. Stop spitting spikes. All right, well, that was an accident. Remember, roll out of the way of that. Do not try to block that. You can, but you will be taking some damage. What's nice about this area, just like all the underground, when you're killing the enemies, you can get your potions back. So that's really cool. So over here, this is kind of hidden. Grab that. And let's keep going. And there's going to be some items to the right. But we do kind of want to go over to where those birds are. Just to get that over with. Where the birds are, that's like one of the hardest spots of this entire area. No doubt. Now this is a trap over here. So when once you grab this item, you're going to have some guys dropping down. Okay, so just be ready for that. One Ash of War will knock them down like that. Oh god. Okay, I'm just doing that, and you're gonna die. We can actually summon here, so that might be a good idea. You know what? I'm in a mood for some dung that did not come out right. But yeah, we're gonna summon him just for fun. Why not? I want to summon him more. I just haven't used him, and he's not bad. He's definitely not bad. All right, remember, roll all the way to that. If you roll, as you can see, not a problem. Not a problem at all. There we go. And come on, buddy. Let's poop on these guys. <laughs> yeah, that move. What? You didn't fall down? Now you're frosting me? That's some cheese. There we go. And there's like a million items over here. So it's very possible I could miss something. Let me just kind of do a little circle and look. Uh, you know, at any point, I can also get on the damn horse. The horse should work good for taking these guys out. So, like, an example, charges up. Ow! Never mind, the horse sucks. Okay, get up. Take him out. Dunita, are you doing good over there? Okay, okay. Yeah, like, that attack, that attack is so good. That is insanity. Okay, both of them are down, both of them are dead. I'm liking this, dude. What are you doing? Don't need to do stuff. All right, ow. Help me, man. Okay, that's gonna help a lot. Yeah, yeah, whatever that is, just keep doing that. Uh, oh, God. One down. Let me chug. It's a very good idea to probably chug as much as possible, you know? Make sure you're at full health because these guys can easily, like, kill you in one hit if you're half health. Which is technically two hits, but whatever. Take that guy out, and now him. Alright, yeah, Dung Eater is doing work, man. Mess them up. And let's grab these items around the tree. And there's one more. Let's pick that up. Now, coming up over here, there's a bunch of these summoners. Okay. They suck. If they summon their crap against you... Take that guy out real quick. And I think I've been in here before. But just kill them and get them out the way. But if they summon their giant skeletons and they do the laser attack, if that hits you, you're probably dead. So it's kind of a good idea if they summon it to maybe try to find some cover and hide for a second. But this is actually really good on this horse, this little move here. So you can kind of cheese a lot of these guys with this. Like if they're not all attacking you, then yeah, Arbs is just one enemy. You can just keep knocking them up in the air like that and kill them that way. So, pretty cool. Let's pick up all this stuff. And yeah, don't go over there. You can see a summoner over there already. He's like the red guy. We've actually encountered him, and I think we were killed by him too once. So, let's charge us up. There we go. Knock him down. And I missed. Out. Take him out. Where are you, Dunneater? Help me, man. Ah! No! Just get hit. There we go. Got him. Pick up the item. And grab all the stuff. I don't want the summoner to summon on me. Just want to be careful. Just roam around. And yeah, there's like a million guys over here. I mean, look how many there are. Uh, I'm going to fight them because I said I would. But this is, uh, this is what you should not do, okay? Don't fight these guys. That is very stupid to actually fight them. So don't do it. But, you know, I'm doing my thing. Alright, I'm gonna try to get this guy. 
if it's just one of them like that. Easy pickings for me. Alright. Dung Eater, man, is being a tank right now. He's just eating the damage for me. God, there's so many of these guys. Like, what? What is this? Yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing, you know? Do that. Fall over. Run in. Okay. Kill this one right here. Oh, I got the backstab. That, that works good. And... Oh, what? Okay. Again, be careful. Be very careful. Oh, crap. You just don't want to be half health. That's my point. Like, just make sure if you're half health, heal yourself. Because otherwise, they can easily kill you. But, you know, to be completely fair, don't fight them. That's your number one option. Don't fight them. Wow. My jump R2 actually knocked him over one hit. Pretty good. Now, let me make sure I'm not missing anything in this little central area. Because there's so many little tiny items spread around here. It's very easy to skip something. Alright, I think we're good so far. We got all the stuff. We killed all the enemies. Wait a minute. No, we didn't. We missed something. Alright, now we're good. And now we're going to go to the spot that is, like, the hardest. I think this is right. This is where the birds are. Now, there's an invader here. He's going to invade you at least twice. So, it's very annoying. But let him invade and kill him. Like, that's the thing. Kill him. Do not fight the birds until he's dead. So, just chill here. Wait for it to happen. It will happen. Come on. There we go. Yeah, he's coming in right at the beginning. So let's lock on. Let's run in. Oh, God. That attack is very annoying. You can guard counter him. He's not very smart. So, like, you can kind of just keep attacking, right? Look at this. Okay, well, be, you know, half health or whatever. Chug. And he can bleed you, so be ready for that. But he did. And he's going to be back. Now, if you can get on your horse, though, which we can... He's not coming back right away. I think he spawns in, like, halfway through or on the left side over here. Now, against these guys, if you can get them with your special attack, you can destroy them, right? Because a couple hits, it's going to make them fall down. Do not stand in the geyser. And then, yeah, just spam away. But they are super OP. And when they fall over, that's good. But if you aren't getting them... It's bad. Like, if they attack you, be ready to block and be ready to be, like, very annoyed <laughs> because they are very aggressive. Extremely aggressive. So shooting the one off in the beginning, very good idea. Also, you can kind of avoid those dogs on the rock for now. In fact, I think there's only one thing on the rock. There is dogs over here, though, so be ready for that. Let's take this one out. And there's another one. Stick him out. Hello. And there's another one. Let's go get him. I think there's four total over here. But give me the item. Thank you. And yeah, there was four. There's one chilling on that left side. Now, let me start roaming over this way. So there's a bird here. Oh, uh, yeah. And uh, watch out for the dogs. Again, same thing. Get close enough, and let's start spamming. It should fall over. Okay. And just keep spamming. There we go. Big damage. And block that. Ah, 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 ah. No, no, no. Oh, God. See? Aggressive. All right, just a couple normal attacks should take it out. There we go. Ooh, crap. So there's at least one more bird here. Now, while I'm at it, I will take these dogs out, too. Well, the horse should work good. The horse will be nice because then we'll know when we're about to get invaded again. Take one out. Ah, 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 ah. Ah! Dogs are super, super OP. These are the blood dogs. I've talked about them before. Oh, my God. I'm going to die to the dogs. Why did I come up there? That was stupid of me. Leave me alone, doggo. Okay, okay. There we go. Come on. One down. Come on. Bounce off or something. Got two. God, you're freaking strong. They don't bounce off either. It's crazy. There we go. That one did bounce off. Now he's dead because he fell over. Oh, God. You know, is there a point to go up here where the dogs are? No, not really. I mean, look. There's some crafting stuff, but... Does that matter? No. Let's pick this up. 
There's an upgrade right here. Let's come on over here. There's an item. Pick that up, which is a talisman. Ignore those messages. Me and my buddy actually jumped over there. Like, that, those messages have been there since the game first came out. I'm serious. People have been trolling that spot. Me and my buddy jumped over there to check that out because we really thought, like, hey, there's got to be something over there. There's messages. And, and no, it's death. Totally death. So don't go over there. All right, let's just look around real quick. Oh, hello. All right. So I don't know when this other assassin's going to come in here, but he will be coming in soon. All right. Uh, check. Black. Okay, okay. Get this off again. Come on, man. Fall over. There we go. Whew. Wow. He fell right into me so I could critical him. That was pretty awesome. But let's grab the rest of the stuff here. Give me that. And yeah, you kind of want to double check everything. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, I'm not sad. I thought maybe I couldn't summon him because I was being invaded again. But that should happen maybe over here? Pretty sure it's going to be over here somewhere. Okay, item here. Yep, there it is. All right, pick that up. And I'm just going to chill and let him actually come over here first. Now, this is the area where that bird was that I shot off. So this is fine. Because there's no bird no more. We shot him off. Let's pick up the item there. And here comes the white mask. Now, this guy this time is going to drop, like, armor and stuff. Because I think that's the purpose. Is that the first time you kill him? Whatever. The second time he drops, like, his gear? I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Ah, I hate that attack so much. That's pretty much guaranteed bleed on you at times. There we go. Rah! Come on, man. Bounce off. There we go. No. 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 His AI is very stupid. Oh, crap. Oh, we got him. Nice. Got bled, but all good. Yeah, we got his mask, and we got his armor as well. So, I think that's it in terms of him actually being able to invade. Now, again, the dogs... I don't really know if there's a purpose to actually even fight them because here let's grab this item here but where the dogs are there's like nothing up there oh god now over here there is something up here and there is dogs up here what am I being evaded again excuse me why did it knock me off the horse whatever take one dog off charge this up oh god okay there is another invasion you know, I think it might be endless. I mean, maybe I'm tripping, but yeah. Come on up, dude. You're pretty far away. It's gonna spam like crazy against you. All right, three damage. Get him. Yeah, he's gonna be real stupid when he's close. Oh, God. Ah! Ah! Okay, let me heal. Chug, lug, lug. Mm -mm. Yeah, the hyper armor you get is so good. It works like a charm now the, do you drop anything nah see he's not dropping nothing so i don't think at this point he's gonna drop anything it's just more or less he's just gonna keep invading you i think we got everything here though again where the dogs are i'm pretty sure there's nothing up there outside of that golden sea that we just got so oh those are the geysers watch out ow why did i just heal that's all good Alright, so now we're gonna head over here. This is where the summoners are. And yeah, this part sucks too, like I said. Like, you can easily be killed by the summoners, no questions. Now, if you want, you can knock them up in the air. But see, it's always gonna summon first, right? So, knock them up in the air. And I'm just trying to get them. There we go. Very easy cheese if you do that R2. But you just have to watch the skeletons, because if they shoot that laser, that's the only thing. If they shoot that at you, you're probably dead. If they're doing anything else, like a melee or something, it's probably not a big deal. So there's a summoner over to the left. I can already see him. There's like four of them in this area, I want to say. I'm going to kind of maneuver over here real quick. Uh, hello? They're all kind of hidden, like, as well in the bushes. Probably lock on and find them. All right, so this is the end here, so never mind. Let's go get that one we seen a second ago. I think he was just over here, chilling. Where are you at? Uh, 
Where is he? I can't see him now. There he is. All right. Let's see if we can get him before he gets summoned. Well, I don't know. I guess if you do enough damage to him. Oh, I don't know. I was gonna say if you do enough damage to him, I wonder if it just like kills the skeleton. Okay, there's one right in front of us as well. Charge us up. Smack him. Here's the problem. We got the skeleton. I think he's close enough though that the skeleton would try to melee. The only thing that matters is that laser. If that laser's coming at you, you are so screwed if it hits you. There's one more summoner. I think he's over this way. Yes, he is. Alright. Hit him. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill the skeleton. There we go. Whoo! We're good. We did it. Now, let me double check everything. We've been in this corner before trying to hide from the skeleton ghost guys. But yeah, I think we're good now. So let me make my way over to the next area here. And this is our way to get to the boss, which we've already done all this before. But this is going to be one of those spots I was talking about, right? I'm not going to fight the enemies here. The reason why is because... They're not hostile. There's only a couple of them that will try to like run up to you and suicide bomb and blow up. That's it. Everything else here just kind of just is friendly enemies. And if they're going to be friendly enemies, then I'm not going to waste my time killing them all. Now, me and my friend, when we actually did this place for the first time, we already beaten the final boss of the game. And like the soul that you get from that boss or the rune, I keep saying souls. But the rune that you get for that boss allows you to make a sword that has a crazy holy AoE damage. And me and my friend, we had a blast doing this spot because we both had that sword and we were both using that like here. And it was just hilarious, man. Like you just wipe everything out in this area. All those little guys like I was fighting before, like you could kill them all instantly with that sword. Same with these guys. Like... These guys are stronger, they're not like super weak against Holy, I don't think, but still, like, you can kill them all with just a couple AoEs, which is fun. You know, same with this giant blob, there's really no reason to kill it, it's just gonna take a lot of time. Over here to the right, though, there should be an item. Again, all the enemies are peaceful, besides the ones who will try to blow me up, so... I don't think if you attack them, anything happens, let me just look. Okay, well that guy's trying to blow me up, but look, I attacked that guy, right? Maybe he's going to try to attack me now? Hello? No? See? Like, they're super peaceful, so I don't see the point of, like, saying, let's kill them all. Like, that would just be ridiculous. Outside of having something that could just one-shot them all with a giant AoE. Alright, let's pick up this item, and then we're going to go inside. Now, coming up, there's going to be one of these enemies that will definitely be hostile, and I will definitely kill and yeah i think they keep spawning too so you kind of have to watch out for that there's not gonna be much in here though because we've already ran through here before so the enemy is gonna be just over here all right and i'm just gonna charge up a heavy all the way and let's do a second heavy and leave lock and guard counter and charge up heavy boom one of the things I love about this weapon is the heavy. I just think the heavy is so good because it's got that little bit of extra range. It gives you all that hyper armor and all that. I will buy those. Why not? But yeah, it's nice. By the way, I noticed somebody asked me, like, where do I farm my rune arcs? You know, because I have so many rune arcs or whatever. And it's like, I don't farm them. You know, the reality is this. And I don't want to sound like cocky or anything like that. But... I just haven't died that much so throughout my playthrough of this I have been picking them up and because I haven't been really dying much I have a lot of them right now now when you're doing an area where you know you're gonna die like multiple times just don't use rune arcs I mean that's just the reality of it if you feel like you're in a spot where you should be good and you're not really too worried about dying and stuff use them all you want but like an example is the hollow tree I'm about to go to this area is super freaking difficult and the chance of death is so high that you really could blow through all of your rune arcs if you keep popping them every single time you die. So it's something I would not recommend doing at all and I'm not going to do it either. Check out those messages. Somebody actually jumped up there to put messages and there is an enemy coming after me. Now just a couple of these 
should make it fall over. I can pretty much just get in there and do the critical. And before it can even get up, I should be able to charge this up. Release, and there you go. Pretty sure the thing's gonna summon again, isn't it? I don't know where it summons at, but yep, I can hear it summoning. I don't think there's anything else here, though. I think we're good, right? Let me just look real quick. But yeah, if I jump down over there, that's just where I was. Yeah, I want to say we're good, so I'm just going to run. Bye-bye. See you later. Now, we already got this grace, but we do need to do this. I guess I'll kill this thing real quick. Get hit by that. Mind hit me. Fall over. Eat that. Eat that. And rah! There we go. Chug lug lug. Now, let me go ahead and do this. This is the white mask, so this is all a part of his quest, which we did to get here. Now we actually need to go and kill him. And I don't know exactly if you kill him here, can he still invade you in that one spot? I didn't want to actually like do that because I thought like I wouldn't get his armor or I wouldn't get his items that he does drop. So I'm not exactly sure if he still invades in that area or not, if you do come in here and kill him right away. So, let me find him. He's somewhere in here. Hello. This way? This ain't right. No, no, no. Ah, uh, where are you, dude? Yeah, there you are. Alright, so he's kind of has a different weapon right now. And, you know, same shenanigans with the bleeding and everything. Alright. That weapon does bleed too. But, you know, one of the things about this guy, like I said, you can kind of just do this, you know, as long as you have the stamina for it. And that is just swing, essentially. Let the stamina come back. Oh, yeah, he can heal, though. All right, but yeah, look, just swing away, and it works. Back up a little bit. There we go. Start swinging. Then low. Ah! Oh. That combustion spell definitely hurts. Ah! Don't heal! He's one of the rare NPCs that can actually heal twice. Am I fat rolling? Oh, I am fat rolling. Okay, I need more endurance still. Well, that sucks. All right, hold up. Ah, come on, dude. One more hit and you're dead. Got him. Woo. So now we do need to talk to him and he'll go through his whole death animation and all that. And then after that, we're pretty much good to get to the boss. Now, the boss, there are multiple things we can do to make this boss easier. I don't think we're going to need to do those things because the build is so overpowered and this weapon is so good that I feel like it's not going to be necessary. But I will talk about the stuff. So he's dead. Let's pick up his stuff. There we go. And I've already gotten this over here. So I'm going to point this out because I could fight all this. I know that's generally my rule and everything, but... I don't really know the point of doing that. I mean, there's like 50 million enemies over there, and I've already got everything that's over there. I got the uh, ancient somber smithing stone. I got all the stuff in the back. Probably not too much of a point to do that. But let me now talk about this boss real quick. So this boss does have a curse that he will do against you at some point, which is going to put this ring around you, and then he's going to bleed you like crazy. Now, you can actually chug through the bleeding. The moment he starts bleeding, you just start chugging, and you can survive, no problem. But we do have this item, which is this, which will purify the Lord of Blood's curse. So if we wait to get the curse on us and drink the mixed drink, there you go. We can actually get rid of it that way. Also, we do have his shackle as well, which let me find that real quick. We have two different shackles in the game. And if we picked up this one, which we got from the capital sewers, you could use it to help you with the fight. It's going to pretty much knock them over or stun them for a second. Again, we're so OP. None of that should matter right now. I'm not worried about this fight at all. And if you're following this build, I wouldn't worry too much either. Now, the mixed drink would be nice, but I need to be able, I need to, be able to summon the black knife like right away so i'm just gonna drink it right away i'm not gonna wait to drink it also this boss it was really funny there was multiple ways to cheese in this boss when the game first came out and one thing you could do is actually jump up here and then jump up here and then you could actually do a running jump it was very hard 
but you could do a running jump to get over there and then you could actually drop down to where the boss is and fight the boss and not ever go through the fog gate and because of that the boss would just stand there and die now that is an exploit that is a cool jump right where you can do a pretty awesome jump but the fact the boss could be cheese where he stood still and just would die that's an exploit that's something that yes they should patch now to get a somber seven i disagree but a cool jump like that yeah that should be patched also that shackle item you could actually use the shackle item like at the door like three times and then when you would walk in he would also like just stand still and just die so this boss had a lot of cheeses without the patches all right all right drink to drink and i'm gonna run a little bit closer i'm gonna summon get my potions ready lock on and let's go to town just spam away now i am standing in some stuff right now but whatever i don't care i'm just gonna keep spamming and doing as much damage as possible because he is taking some crazy damage now right now i have that curse ring on me he's about to start hitting me with it so this is what you do just chug a on through it just chug 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 he's gonna do like four times all right and we're good that's pretty much it now we can just spam this again if we can actually hit him let me back away from him a little bit come on black knife do your job just need to get a little bit further back there we go now once we start spamming this ah once we start spamming this we should be able to knock him down again black knife just hit him with the goodness which is nice there we go knock him down run in and get a critical off as well i still have one more potion so back away oh crap yeah he hits hard though and look the black knife basically just killed him for me thank you very much but like i was saying a very easy fight you really just need to chug through all of that but the weapon that we get for this if we actually use the great rune here the weapon that we get is actually pretty sick let me check this out what's back here i need to look back there give me a second let me light this grace but it is a spear it's actually his weapon it's a pitchfork spear and it's got like some crazy blood attacks to it it's a very good weapon to use with this shield so it's something that you can consider messing around with if you wanted to uh, try it out i would recommend it but let me look around anything back here I really don't remember this spot back here too much. I don't remember exploring it. I want to say there's nothing back here, but you never know, right? You never, never know. Okay. If anything was going to be back here, it would be like right here. Yeah, victory. Yeah, it's weird. Like, why would they even put all this back here? Yeah, it's beautiful and everything, but like, there should be an item or something or a chest. I don't know. That just makes sense to me. All right, but now that that's done, we can actually head on over to the snow field again. And now we can do this. Now, there's going to be invisible enemies on this part, and that's why we got the torch. So I'm not going to be fighting those enemies. Maybe a couple of them, but the main ones I'm not going to be fighting. But having the torch is nice just so we can see them so that we can freaking run. Oh, wow. You know what? I just remembered something else, too. I just remembered an area that I've never done. I'm going to go do that real quick. This is actually so funny to me. Before I started recording this, I remembered that I needed to go do this too. Because again, all this stuff I missed is all in like the same like little area. And here's something I missed too. So let me go grab that. I just completely forgot. And I don't know what made me just think of it. But there's this church over here. Okay, how do I get out of here? It's the other way. There's a church over here, and this church was, you know, I skipped it in episode one and completely forgot about it. But basically, I mean, there's nothing too important in there. There's like an invasion that's going to happen. I also have like 600,000 runes right now, so I should probably mess with that. Uh, where am I going? Okay, maybe I should have just went the long way. Now I have to figure out how to get up there from here. All right, I'm pretty sure we just kind of go up the hill past this guy. Man, it's been so long since I've... Oh, crap. It's been so long since I've went this way. 
this is nice. But yeah, so I, again, I just completely can't believe I forgot about this church. But I think the only thing in here is some crafting like schematics or something. I don't know. Let's check it out though. But this is a area. If you come here like when you first start the game, this invader will destroy you. It's pretty awful. All right, let's pick up the items. Give me that and that. Yep, a bunch of crafting stuff and like that. And now let's destroy the invader. Hello, boom! My God, the difference is insane. But yeah, trying to fight that thing. Oh, that's a talisman too. That's an important talisman as well. Oh my God, how did I forget that? That's actually uh, the holy damage, scorpion holy talisman thing it ups your holy damage basically i can't use my map hello uh why can't i pull up my map let me rest the grace real quick yeah that's important talisman though like if you want to do anything with holy damage that's definitely not bad all right let's get rid of that now let me go ahead and come over here and you know it's funny because like so a lot of this stuff the great sword that church i I've read these comments, maybe I missed people bringing that up, but I don't ever remember anyone actually pointing out that I missed that stuff. So yeah, that's kind of insane. But I'm going to go here now, and we're going to pretty much get access to this extremely hard area, which is the hollow tree. Alrighty, well, let me go ahead and put this torch on. So I need to take that bow off and torch we're not gonna really fight these enemies but we're gonna use it to let us see black knives that's what's over here they're invisible but if we could see them we can dodge them a lot easier now quickly i'm gonna try to show you where these things are these are gonna be like candles or torches that we have to light one will be right here okay this one is probably the easiest one to find but then let me go ahead and show you where we need to go first of all so if we come over this way this is going to take us to, one, where the steps are, because up there, that's where we will eventually open up, and that will take us to this hollow tree. So let's grab the item right there. And to actually get into this area where the enemies are, we do need to interact with this, and this is going to open it up. Now, before I actually do that, I'm going to try to show you the route that I'm going to take. Now, one thing is, there are items. I kind of recommend, screw the items. Because if you take the time to grab some of these items, you could easily be killed. So the moment we actually go in there, we're going to spawn up there. We're going to drop down here, okay? And then we're just going to run over here. Now, I will grab an item now just to get out the way. But there's a ladder. That's the ladder we're going to go up. There's actually a couple items. But there is an item over here in this corner. Let's go and grab that. And let's go ahead and drop down and grab this item over here. And now, let's go ahead and climb up the ladder. And see, there are items on the rooftops. That's the thing. So you might want to take the time to grab them. But there are these archers. The archers we can kill. At least we can mess with them. But they are stupid OP. They will kill you in a half of a second. I am so serious. But once you climb up here, you need to climb up this ladder. That's going to be where the first torch thing is going to be. Let me just go up here to look. You can actually see, I guess, the ghost are there to kind of help you see that. But then we can drop back down here. And at this point, this is when we're going to be getting shot at by archers once we're in there. So let's grab this item now because if you try to grab this with the archers, you are so dead. And what we're going to do is just stand right here. And you can see bloodstains. Jump up here. At this point, we have to block. The archer to our right will be trying to hit us in the side. So you kind of want to not get hit. It's very difficult, but you can block most of it. Then we can jump across here. Once we're over here, we can kill the archer. You can see that guy fighting it right there. Then we can go ahead and climb up this way. This is going to take us to the second torch in our path that we're going. So climb on up. Hit this torch. Now at this point, we can go ahead and drop back down. And there are some items up here, but we can kind of deal with some of the archers. If we can knock them down and off of the rooftops, that does help. Let me look for these items because the next place that we're going for the torch will be that one I've already pointed out. I'm just kind of looking around trying to figure out 
Where is this item? I know there's an item over here somewhere. I believe it's right... Ah! No, it's not! It's somewhere over here. Oh, there it is. I can still get it, though. Let's jump across and grab this. Thank you very much. And yeah, so once we got that second torch, at any point from there, we can actually drop down. I'm just looking around. Let's see if we can see any items. Yes, there is an item right here. Pick that up. But we can then go get that one in the middle that I pointed out before. It's just over here, okay? We then can grab this. And at this point, I believe we can just run out here. And I know that there is a spot is it this way okay this is not right hmm see i have to almost remember this myself but it is on the outside let me get on the horse i don't know if we can actually be on the horse while we're in there i don't think we can so let me look where is this exactly oh it's over here so it's just over here and there's gonna be enemies and stuff over here so we have to watch out but once we get past this point we want to keep going and ride all the way to the end or at least run all the way over here and there will be a ladder right here and that's the final torch so that's going to be our strategy i hope i've grabbed most of the little items around here and is that an item up there there is an item up there let's go grab that and i think we'll be good after this so Let's try to do this. Again, the archers are going to be the thing that's the most dangerous. The black knives who are invisible are stupid dangerous as well, but we're just running from them. We're not going to fight them. If you can't see them, though, they can completely destroy you. And you don't even know what's happening. You're like, what's happening? It's insanity. So let's go ahead and hit this. And we can go ahead and pull out the torch as well. That way we can see these enemies. I do believe the archers are invisible. But remember, you want to drop down here. We're just running directly straight. Hop on up here. And let's climb on up. So the first torch is not a problem. I also believe if you do die, these things stay lit. So you don't actually have to like do it all again. I could be wrong on that. But I kind of remember, at least when I did this, like when the game first came out, that you don't actually have to light them all in one go. And the reason I say that is because I died a lot doing this. But the other times I've done this, I've generally been able to do it on the first try. So let's go ahead and go across, right? Jump up this way. Again, watch out. I'm just blocking. I'm trying to not get hit. Okay. Get hit a little bit from the side. Let's get close to this one. Bust out our weapon. And let's start attacking. Now at this point... This thing should be dead, because it really can't do much against you once you start attacking it. And it is dead. I do believe they are invisible, but maybe once you get close to them, they stay visible. I don't know. Maybe they are always visible. It's only the black knives that are invisible. I'm not exactly sure. But let's climb on up, and let's go ahead and light this one. Like I said, we can go ahead and drop down to mess around with these archers, but the main thing is to find that central area. So, where is that archer? It's right here. Now, like this archer, for example, one hit, well, maybe two hits, is going to fall down. Once it's down there, we're kind of safe. So, let's figure this out. Is that it over there? That's not it, right? Where is that central area? I mean, it would be kind of over here. I don't know. Let me just stay on the rooftops for now until I figure it out. Where is that area? Hello. Oh, here's an archer right here. Again, same thing. Hit it. It's going to fall over. It's all good. And yeah, I'm just going to drop down. Okay, it's right down here. This is it. Pull out the torch. There's a black knife right here. Let's light this and then get ready to run for it. Now, to be honest with you, we can go this way. I said that, you know, maybe this ain't right, but this is right. You can go this way. Just... Stay on the outside. Okay, well, besides getting stuck like that, there's a lot of these black knives out here too. You gotta watch out. And they will chase you. But somewhere over here, eventually we're gonna hit the spot that I'm looking for. Okay, where is it? Hello? I think it's just over here. Yep, this is right. So just run forward. And let's get past all of this. And 
There's gonna be a black knife just over here. So just get ready to run for it. Hello. Ow. Just run. Maybe do a little bit of this to try to avoid getting hit by that black knife drain health attack that it does. Oh god, they're fast. Let's keep moving. Oh god, here's another one. Pick this up. Now you can also get hit and even get killed while climbing up this ladder. So be careful. Oh god. Come on. Chill. Chill. See, this is the nice thing about being able to see them. You can actually kind of maneuver better. If you can't see them, it's just you're winging it the whole time. But I'm safe. We're going to make it up the ladder. And we can hit this last one. And this is going to break the seal and take us out of here. And then I do know that I guess a couple things might open up. I need to look around because there are other like locked areas here. But I don't know. I just need to look around for a second. The main thing is, is that the door is now open and we can go up those stairs and check that out and pretty much get to one of the hardest places in the entire game and I'll probably die a billion times. I'm just saying, that's going to be the fun part of this. So here's an item right here that I missed. Ah, get me in there. Let me go ahead and go around. Okay, thank you. And there's another item over here. Let's pick that up. And I'm just kind of trying to figure out, like, was there any spot that was, like, locked or blocked by a doorway? I know there was, but where exactly? Huh. See, I'm not seeing nothing right now. I'm going to just probably go through the portal here in a second. I just wanted to look around real quick, because I know there was spots that looked like that was blocked off. I'm not seeing anything. Let me know, guys. Am I missing something? Was there like a chest that I could open up somewhere? I feel like there might be. All right, well, whatever. I'm just going to go ahead and come on up here and hit this and get ready to die a whole bunch because that's what's about to happen. Oh, God. Let's go ahead and hit the portal. And let's do this. Alrighty. Well, there's an item right here. Let's grab that. Give me this. Thank you. Very easy to miss that. Now, everything here can kill you. Everything here is really, really freaking strong. And gravity is an issue here. So, the very first thing, let me make it morning. And also, I'm going to level up. Because, my god, I need to level up. So, let's do that, because I'm going to definitely die. There's no doubt. That's a lot of runes I have still, so I'm going to pop one of these and try to level up again. Let's hope that I can. Please let me level up. Oh my god. I need 20,000 more, so let's pop one more. There we go. And I should have like no runes after this. That will be good. But this is also a place where you're going to build up your runes like crazy. It's insanity here. All right, so there's really no great way of going about this. I'm just going to be honest. Like there is one way I like to do this area for grabbing all the items and stuff, because if you have like range spells are a really good ranged option, this might not be a problem, but there's going to be three of these guys. And if you remember these guys from the capital, they are a joke, right? They are a complete meme almost like a joke. They are not a joke. These things will freaking murder you and they will kill you so fast here. It's just ridiculous, okay? That bubble, that freaking bubble will just wreck your soul. Like, you will see here in a second at some point. And the big ones? Don't even get me started. Well, you're going to see. I'm probably going to die. Like, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to die to the big one for sure. Okay. So as you can see, there's big ones, there's medium ones, there's the small ones. But the spot that really sucks here is the spot where there's going to be three small ones. I want to get to them first and clear that area like right away. To me, that's so important. So this is kind of how I do it. Let's run up to him. I'm just charging up a heavy real quick to hit him. Now let me do this. I should knock him down. I don't think you can crit them. I guess you can't. Interesting. Let's pick this up. Now, over there, right in front of me, 
That is a death zone. I'm serious. Those three little guys, if you stand in their range, they will melt you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drop down here to grab that item. But also, I mean, there is a medium guy down there. So let's just got to do this. There we go. Never mind. Gravity. All right. That's called winging it. And yeah, that was not a good idea. Okay, I thought that would work, but I'll show you the way I normally do it. I just looked at that and said, that looks really smart because I want to get down there. And uh, yeah, that did not work at all. So don't try that, obviously. Let's go ahead and now make our way over here. I should probably go murder those other little ones. I feel like here, like, if you're going to try to grab the stuff here and not just run through, you kind of want to kill all these little guys. Just because you don't want them randomly just shooting you later, which they will, okay? They will shoot you, and they will wreck you. So you just have to be very careful. And, yeah, the bubble, man. You see how it, like, spawns at my butt and it blows up? Well, it's missing me, but if that hits you... It just does so much damage. It's just crazy on how much damage these freaking bubbles do. But let's go ahead and hop down here. Let's recover. And let's get close. Charge up heavy. And do another one. And he gone. Oh, God. So, yeah. This is the part. I'm going to say... See, this is what I normally do. I normally drop down to the right here. See that branch right there? That branch, and you see that purple item over there? That's where we're headed. So, to avoid those three enemies, what I'll do is a lot of times drop down here. Now, run for my life because I'm getting shot at already. Bubbles. Bubbles. All right. Oh, that's a tree trying to hit me now, too. Now we're going to have these guys shoot more bubbles. Let's get close. Try to take that guy out. Okay. Now, I'm trying to get to the top because that's where those three guys are. And we want to get on them, like, quick. Okay. Stop. Just freaking... I got a chug. Oh, bubbles. All right, there we go. One. Oh, crap. Can't hit up. Two. And I'm just doing this. And I can't hit you, dude. Dude. Fall over something. Just just get out of here. That's not meant to happen, by the way, where he falls like that. Oh, yeah, I can't hit that guy for nothing. Very awkward over here. It's very, very awkward. But the main thing is, let's grab this item here. And... Oh, watch out. There's still more bubbles. And we got other stuff, too. Rush this guy and get this item over here. Okay. Oh, watch out for that. Pick that up. Now, the tree. When I say tree, I mean the plant. There's a giant plant, obviously. Watch out, because unfortunately, you don't really want to get the scarlet rot on you here. It's terrible if that happens. Unless you're just trying to die. But over here, there is an item, but I don't really think there's a purpose of like killing that plant you can he's very strong that's the main thing it's super super strong and everything come on over here oh god leave me alone die bubble boy don't fall off why is there like all these ones who are like chilling on the bottom like that but yeah i don't think there's a, anything behind that plant so i i'm not gonna waste my time killing it okay i'm just not and now let me figure out where I want to go exactly here. I'm going to hop down here, which I've been here before, right? Just kind of looking around. Uh, okay. I think I'm good. The main thing is the three really annoying ones are dead. And those are the three that will get you killed just because of where they are and everything. It's terrible. Okay, you can easily block that attack. Now we can do some basic attacks. He should fall over. And now just finish him off. Watch out. Don't want to get hit by bubbles. Mm -mm. Get on. There's also a plant over here. Oh, of course I didn't hit the plant. 
I don't know why the plant's not doing its scarlet rot thing, but whatever. Get out of the way of the big plant. And there's nothing over here. Okay. Cool. Now let's go ahead and come on down this way. So we have these ants. The ants are very, very creepy, but not super powerful. So I wouldn't worry about them so much. They do have like their ranged ant attack, which that's it. And it does ridiculous damage. That's what I was just literally about to say. I didn't expect them to actually come after me like this. Oh God, I need one of you to die like now, please. Back up, let me just do this. Okay, got both of them, beautiful. Let's take these guys out. Now I'm just charging up my heavy here just to make sure that they'll actually die. Now that spot where I dropped down and died to gravity earlier is just up here. So let's come on up and let's grab this item, which is one of those voice items. Let me check the message. Yeah. This place is awesome. Don't get me wrong. It's just freaking death, man. Like, this is the literally just will drive you insane in terms of dying a million times ow can you fall off the cliff maybe awesome i mean look at my potions already that's the whole thing with this area you're going to just blow through your healing so fast if you're not careful let's pick that up and I'm just looking around what does it say read the message yeah yeah <laughs> all right so now we need to go to where the ants are and go up that way as well and the proper way to go is actually like just straight in front of me where this item is but this spot coming up the proper way is such a freaking deaf area it's ridiculous there's a giant one of the bubble guys but his bubbles will just one shot the hell out of you i mean that's just the reality of it you just get one shot at death by that guy but luckily, if you do die, like, that's why you want to grab everything first. Try to get everything here first. That way, when you die trying to make that bubble run, it's not nearly as bad. Because you've already done everything. Now, you definitely want to get these ants before they get to that big guy over there. Uh-oh. Out of FP. Oh, no, bubble guy. Are you, is he looking at me? Is Okay, please, big bubble dude, don't shoot your stuff at me. Okay, okay. Oh god, I'm so scared. Okay, that's bubble. Okay, as long as you can like get close to him, then big bubble stuff out isn't a problem. You can block, he's very slow, so you can block and guard counter him. And I guess you can actually grab him. So watch out for all his shenanigans. Just block that. Generally speaking, you can guard counter and then go ahead and re-block before he hits you. He's so slow. His range attack is his big attack, though. That's what will get you killed in a second. Pretty sure that helmet will increase the... Uh, will make bubble attacks better. Um, but, yeah, they're bubbles. That's just the way it is. Like is. You're never going to do what the enemies can do with them. All right, so we got another medium one up here with a small one. So let's grab that item and then run in here. Running R2. Just normal R2. And... Hopefully he falls off. Nope. Okay. That should get him though. Pick up the item. And now let's walk on up this way. I think this is it for the items. I need to think about it for a second. But this takes us back to the beginning. If we jump and then go that way. That's the grace over there. I think that's it for this beginning area. I'm just trying to remember. Is there anything I'm forgetting? Like a bottom part or something? I might want to look to the right. But I could be thinking of like a little bit later on. But let me look. Because I do think that's it. But that's what I really do recommend guys. Try getting down here so you can get up to where those three ones are. Like those three guys. Because they are such a nuisance if you can't deal with them. If you have like a good range magic or something. You can take them out like just right away. And being able to do that makes such a big difference. Okay is that an item over there? I think that is. See, I knew I missed something. Let's come up this way. And let's just try to figure that out. Alright, there's also some butterflies up here. Okay, um... How would you get down to that? See, I don't even know where that's at. Uh, 
Let me go back and look again. And then from here, I'll figure out... How do you get over there? See, I can't tell. Is that an item or is that nothing? What is that? No, that's definitely an item. Alright, well, maybe you do have to get through the big plant. And then from there, you can get over there. Let me go ahead and go back up and try to figure that out. So, wait a minute. Where the hell am I right now? Hello? I'm confused. I gotta get back to where that big plant guy was. Uh, one thing you really don't want to do, if possible, you really don't want to try to make these jumps. Okay, so I don't know exactly. The best bet would be to drop down and just go the normal way. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I recommend. But don't try to jump from branch to branch. You try jumping from branch to branch, you're going to miss that jump. And that will frustrate the hell out of you. Alright, so up this way and this is where the plants are and yeah i mean if you could spam this stuff with him doing that with the scarlet rot and all that you should be good i mean technically i could just actually drink my uh drink that would work when he falls over we can run in and get a free hit off let's back up don't want scarlet rot we're getting scarlet rot aren't we nope nice Make him fall over again. I might drink my mixed potion too. Oh crap. Get out of the way of that. Ow. Alright, so now I'm just. What? What? Oh no! Crap! Come on, dude, fall over for me! There we go, there we go. Come on. Why am I not getting the option to grab? Excuse me. Alright, well, we got Scarlet Rot, so. I'll tell you right now, I'm just killing this guy, grabbing this item, and I am going back to the brace. Oh god. Oh, God. Get out of there. All right. Finish him off. And the question is, can this lead me to that item that I've seen? Where the hell is that thing? Am I tripping? Where the hell is that? I know I see an item with a little plant next to it. I don't know how to get to it, though. Uh, uh, is my eyes playing a trick on me? Because, like, I should be able to see this damn thing from here. Come up this way. Drop down here. It was here, right? Where I could see it. Yeah, it was definitely here. Come back this way. Yeah, that is an item. How do you get over there? Ah, see now I'm out of potions and everything. I almost have to like reset and I really don't want to reset to try to figure out how to get over there again. All right, one more time. I'm gonna go this way. I may actually do some stuff to heal outside of just potions just so that I can actually like stay alive here. I mean, technically, what am I doing? Let's just get rid of the Scarlet Rot. At this point, everything's dead, so we shouldn't have an issue with anything killing me right now until I could figure out how to get to this spot. Okay. Is that the branch? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe that's it. Ugh. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna be honest. I'm gonna cut this ahead. I need to cough and everything as well, so I'm gonna figure this out. I just don't want... Oh, I'm just so blind and stupid. Oh my god. Okay. You know, for some reason my brain just wasn't clicking there with that, you know? It's just literally right there. Unbelievable. Alright, but now I'm gonna go back here just to reset everything. And now we're gonna run for it, basically. We're gonna skip all the stuff, get to the death zone, and hope for the best. So I'm gonna cut this ahead and see you guys in a moment. Alrighty, now let's go ahead and just kind of run for it. So this is what we do when we need to run for it. We're just gonna come on over here, drop on down. Now, if you want to just knock this guy off like normal, you can, because you really don't want to get hit. But if you don't want to, just run. And now, just simply drop down here like before. Got to watch out for 
all of the shenanigans, including the ants, okay? <gasps> oh, God! I thought they were gonna knock me off! Okay. We gonna run and zigzag a little bit. Okay. Ignore the items. Where we need to go is right here to the right. Okay, there's a branch. There should be a message there, I'm gonna be honest. Once you drop down here, get ready to block and look to the left. Okay? Just block the stupid bubbles. That's the whole point. Keep moving. Oh, God. You really don't have time to heal? That's the thing? And now I'm gonna heal. Okay. I think you're safe right here. I don't think he could hit you. Let's fully heal. We're about to get to a grace, so that's the good news. Alright. Let's hop on up. And I'm gonna spam. Okay, wait. Let's get close enough to not get hit by bubbles. That's probably very important. Alright. Again, this should work like a charm, because he's so slow. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Spam away. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. Honestly, the blocking guard countering is your best bet. I mean, look. Right? Super easy this way. Once he's dead, now... Let's go ahead and come over this way and grab this item. The main thing right now is to get this grace. We want this grace so that we don't have to run through that crap again and die like 50 times. So there's other stuff to grab here, but first things first, we got to get the grace. So we can actually just drop down right here on this roof and then we can go ahead and keep dropping down until we get to the room over here so just drop all the way down let's hit the grace um it's up to you if you want to rest at it i mean i'm not going to right now just because i will but let me first grab the rest of the items so if you go back up the ladder this is going to take us back to where we just were now that guy would be back up here if you rest but even just running through like I did, I lost half of my potions. So, I mean, it just goes to show this area, right? But once we're up here, I'm kind of looking around with these messages. Yeah, no ladder, all that. All right, but let's go back up top. And, oh yeah, watch out for the Scarlet Rot. So this is the area. Oh my God, I'm getting Scarlet Rot on me for sure. Whatever. I'm just going to accept the fact I'm getting Scarlet Rot on me. But let's grab the rest of these items. And now we should drop down again the way that we did before. I'm surprised there's no message here. Normally there should be a message here. Drop on down. And let's go ahead and look around here. I know there's another giant plant over here. I'm not sure if we need to kill it. I don't think there's an item back there. But I'm going to go and look real quick. Is there anything over here? Let me chug. Watch out for the plant stuff. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just run to where the plant is. Hello, plant. How you doing? And what do you got? Nothing but some butterflies. So, yeah. It's up to you. These things are so tanky, the freaking plant, that you're going to blow through a lot of resources trying to fight it. It's up to you if you want to, though. Back up to where that guy was. And then up here. This is super dangerous. But... We're going to have some more craziness over here. So I'm definitely going to drink my potion, like, now. And then let me lock on and start spamming this. Oh, crap. There we go. One. Main thing is, you know, watch out if that guy does his bubble attack. That's when we need to pretty much stop this and start blocking. Holy crap. All right, now we just really need to get close. That's the big thing. Get close. Just take him out. Oh, we're getting stomped on. Out. You gotta be careful rolling here, too. Rolling here is, like, ridiculous. You can easily roll off the cliff at any point. There we go. Just do a normal heavy right there. Man, this works like such a charm. There you go. Take him out. Pick this up, which is an ash, so that's good. And I think we're good, so let's go ahead and just port right to the grace. And that should restore all of our stuff. Now, let's go ahead 
And as you can see, by the way, I did not actually use a great rune just because I expect to die. That's what I was talking about before. Watch out. Go ahead and do that. Take him out. And we're about to fight a red lion guy, which is funny because like, you know, I always talk about how they're really, really OP, but with the shield, they're just not. I mean, that's just the truth. And I'm just charging up heavies right there to take them out. And before I go up the ladder, let me actually come down here real quick. Just to... Oh, hello. Give me that backstab. He's going to fall off. See you later, buddy. There's one right here, too. Now, these ones do attack you. They will try to grab you and everything, so they can be frustrating. Oh, God. Hello. All right. Come on, dude. Fall off or something for me. Okay. Back up. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't. I'm so freaking. Look at my health. Oh my life. That's a triple chug. Oh, double's fine. There we go. Die. Dude, everything here hits you so hard. It's insanity. I love that running R2. I really do. Now let's just do a normal R2 for the range and take that guy out. All right. I'm gonna go up top. I just know that when you're up top, I, there's different spots you can get to. You'll see in a sec. Let's go up top, though. Also, I, I do believe there's like a million zombie guys up here trying to grab you. Which really sucks. It's super cheap. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Luckily, they didn't grab me right away, but let's take this guy out. There we go. Pick that up. And yeah, let's just hit them all with the running R2 again. Oh my god, they're tanky though. Three hits at least. There we go. Got one, and yeah, they can grab you. Let's see the damage. My god. And they put Scarlet Rod on you too. That's not fun. Take that one out. I'm gonna charge this up. Thought maybe I could get two with that charge, but nope. There we go. Now, what's really funny is that this line over here is actually so kind of OP that I have done strategies of like running up to them and running away and jumping across and everything. Not needed with the shield. I mean, one, I could just do this. This should wreck them. A couple hits, he's gonna fall over, run in, do my jumping R2. Let's just block him now. Look, he bounces off. Easy. And boom. Let's pick that up now. It's a plus two talisman. So over here, let's jump across again. You could drop down like right here, where this message is. And this takes you over to the rooftops, and then you can drop down again. I'm not exactly sure, like, is there a point though, you know? Yeah, I mean, look at this. There's so many of these guys here. Freaking crazy. All right, out of my way. Yeah, there's a ladder there, but I don't know what else is up here. I don't get it. I mean, you could skip stuff. That would be one reason to do this. But outside of just skipping everything, I don't know. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, come on. There we go. I just want you to die, bro. Got him. So if we come up here, there's like some butterflies. And that's it. What's the purpose of this? You know, you think, is it to drop down or something? No, that's where we came from. So yeah, I don't really understand it. I don't really get the purpose of all of this. Like, but whatever. I'd rather go the other way anyway, to be fair. So I'm just going to drop back down over here. And we're just going to go this way. There's going to be a guy around this corner. So get you ready for that. These guys, same as always. You can guard counter them. They're pretty easy. Because they're slow also i do believe our hits will stun the hell out of them so we can be kind of aggressive against them let's pick up that item it's gonna be another one of those guys right down here so i can actually charge up a heavy fully let's do another heavy should fall over and he's gonna be dead and yeah this basically takes you to the same spot of where that ladder is yeah okay there's... oh hello the ladder's right there though that's what i'm trying to say Try to show that. Yeah, that's the ladder that goes up. 
Yeah, it's just kind of bizarre. All right, let's come on over here. And there is an item out here. Where's the item? There it is. And let's look around real quick. Yeah, this is a sniping spot if you had range to shoot the ants down there. But now let's go ahead and come down here. Oh, crap. I didn't want to fall all the way down. Now, here's another one of these spots. Like, look, there's two giant plants over here. And if you want to, you could kill them. But again, you have to use so many resources if you want to actually, like, kill them. Like, at least it's going to take a long time and stuff. You're not really going to get anything from doing that. So it's kind of up to you. But I'm just going to go up the ladder. The main thing is that, you know, they might do their little stupid thing on you, which is annoying. That, um, light show that they do. Oh, wow. Couldn't backstab them. Oh, uh-oh. That's not good. All right. Please die. Definitely needed that one to die. God, these guys are such a joke. The fact you can freaking make them bounce off is insanity. This right here is going to be an ancient dragon smithing stone. Now let me chug and come back this way. Yeah, so the plants might try to hit me with their crap. That's the one thing. Also over there, we can drop down on that spot. But let's go this way first. There is a grace coming up. Thank God. <laughs> there is actually a grace. So let's go and get that. And yeah, just look around real quick. Come on out here. Hello. Oh, God. Back up in the room. Charged heavies. My God, I love the charged heavies on this weapon so much. Absolutely wrecked those guys with gravity. Pick that up. Now let's go ahead and come on over here. And basically, here's the grace. And we can also get down to where those ants are. So let's pick up the item. And just look around real quick. Set the grace. And I don't really remember the ants so much. Like, what's the purpose exactly? Here's a good question. Can I level up? I'm so close. I'm going to pop something. In this place, I definitely recommend if you can level up, level up. Like, just do it. And try to have as little freaking runes on you as possible. Just because the chance of death is so high here. Alright, so ahead and do that and let me look at this what's the freaking point there's an item and they are trying to murder me already all right ants get hit with this die i hate their shenanigans there we go wreck them all give me the item pretty freaking pointless like i'm getting annoyed with all these freaking crafting materials that's for sure chug that this is the way we need to go there's also is that a path that leads us back up top okay that's kind of cool another way of going but let's go ahead and come in here real quick and check this out so what's in here okay we got more of these guys charged our, our heavy take that one out oh get off of me just die without your buddy coming over to hit me, please. I'm trying to save my FP as well. Just for more annoying enemies. Let's grab this. And chug. Now let me come on out here. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, watch out. This is a snail area. So, the first one's right to the right. The next one, and yeah, these enemies are like ridiculously OP. Oh god, yeah, they're really, really OP. Stop with your magic. Oh! Ah! I'm dead. Okay, I wasn't ready for that. Ugh. There's three total, and we gotta get them all. Alrighty. Now we can actually go from the top. This is better in terms of the stupid snails and all that. Let's go ahead and pick that up. I'm just looking around real quick. But yeah, I think from here we can just drop on down. See, I don't know. Like, that's the thing. I really don't know what's better to go after the one to the left or go after the one to the right. Let me first grab my stuff. I'm going to go after the one to the right. 
that way I can get rid of the stupid spear one. And pretty sure that, yeah, it kills it instantly. So now, just try to not get hit by that crap. Oh my god! You're so OP! I told you, this place, man. This is why you don't use your great runes in this place. Like, it's terrible. I almost just jumped off the cliff. Like, that would have been a disaster. All right, but I do think that's the way to do it. The one other way of changing it up would be to probably uh, block or something, like to not get hit by this crap, then go after the snail. Or just use my range on the snail, I don't know. All right. Ugh. Do your stuff, please. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. There we go. God. By the way, they always respawn too. So anytime you die when you're going through here, you're going to have to deal with that crap again. All right, but now we need to go over here, which we can jump. I hear a scarab. Okay. And you can also turn around here and make this jump backwards. Or not. Gravity. I told you this was going to be a fun episode. It's kind of crazy on how, like, I can just die in the same spot that quickly that many times. But, you know, it is what it is. All right. Take that guy out. Let me try to be, see if I can do this. I'm going to go this way. Come on, come on, come on. Get it. Nice, nice. So that works right there. Watch out for this thing. Hop on down. Take this one out. All right. Now, the problem with the jump... I can't tell you how many times that's happened to me. The big thing with this jump... This jump is not hard. You just have to jump at the last second, you know? That's all it is. Just make sure you do your jump at the last second. You'll make it every time. Very, very easy. But if you're being stupid like me, you're going to really absolutely get wrecked by gravity. There's just no doubt. All right. Come on, bro. Just die. I really don't like these enemies. I really don't like them. I knew I was going to get both of them there. Nice. Now we get all three of you. Now we hit both of you. Now you die. Man, I'm making this weapon look nice. Oh, yeah. Look at that range, man. I love the range of these heavies. That's... Honestly, even more than the Ash of War, I think I like the range of the heavy so much on this thing. All right, so there's a chest in here. Let's make sure we pick this up. Give me that. And that's a plus two medallion. Yeah, so since we're at the end game, we're getting nothing but these plus two end game medallions, which is pretty nice. I did it. Yes, you did. Good for you. But now we need to jump across. Okay. And try to take this guy out. No! You mother. Okay, come on. Hit your buddy. That's what I get for not locking on a lot. There we go. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Mushrooms, mushrooms, mushrooms. Let me read the messages too. Okay, yeah, it's a group. So I hear this scarab. I'm trying to remember the scarab. I want to say it's a... It's a HP one or something over here somewhere. I don't remember. We're getting close to the end, by the way. I mean, there still is actually a little bit more to do. And there's like this one part, like really close to like where the first boss. Oh my God. Okay. So this is a very long area. Let's, let me just make that clear. This is just the first little bit of it. Like this is the first half. The second half is where things get really crazy. Oh my god. So this is the easy part. I know, right? This this is actually the easy part of this area. So... Okay, I, I get annoyed by these things really badly. Oh, that's right. There's a ladder going up over there. I need to check that out. Okay. You sons of freaking bitches, man. Will you just die? Thank you. And now you, just die, please. Oh my god, why do you have to have full health? There we go. Die. Alright. Now, let me use my FP potion. Yeah, I'm, like, 
98% sure there's like an HP or FP scarab. Like, it's right underneath me. There's a whole room down there. I clearly remember that. Let's go ahead and climb up. And I think this is a way of jumping back. Yeah. I think that's the purpose of this. This is, if you want to go backwards, you can jump back over there. That's where those uh, snails were. But there's no other purpose to this but that. But yeah, the end area coming up here is going to actually have... Oh, there's enemies up there, interesting. It's going to have like these giant wizards and they're so freaking strong. It's insanity. Alright. Where is the scarab in here? Oh, hello. Oh, God. This guy thinks he's tough, huh? Well, you're about to get critted. You are not stronger than my shield, that's for sure. Alright, you're dead. And where is this thing? Yep, it's an HP one. That's actually not bad, though. I will take that. Oh, I missed. I will take that because I need me my healing. Thank you so much. Now, just make sure I check out all the rooms. Oh, hello. I can't see nothing. Oh, I guess I should talk about something, actually. I completely forgot because I've been so sick lately. But I have actually made plans of like upgrading like my entire recording setup and I have like already bought a brand new like capture card and I actually got a new TV because yeah, I have to have the new TV to go with the caption card and all that. So I got a TV that I could do uh, well at least I could play games in the 120 frame rate which is pretty epic for games that support that I love it. Oh uh, hello. But recording wise, I don't think I can even do that in terms of like YouTube. I don't think they allow that. But if you don't know, like I'm not even recording 60 FPS because I can't like I don't have that option. So, I mean, I want to get to a point where I can do 4K 60 and, you know, at least do 1080p 60. But I got the new like TV. I got the new caption card. And then I realized Oh crap, I also have to get a new computer. So, <laughs> yay. It's expensive upgrading, my god. But yeah, my computer is like, uh, it's probably eight or nine years old. And it's just like, you know, just out of date, pretty much. Alright, this part sucks. Two giant wizards. I recommend blocking, and then rolling, and then trying to not get completely wrecked. And yeah. Well, the plan was to try to get to the back and hide. That didn't work. Okay, I just thought about something. I have range with this build. That probably would work good there, maybe. Okay, at this point, we don't really need to worry about all this crap, so I'm just gonna run for it. Cause yeah, running for it is a very good idea, as long as I don't fall off and die right there. That would be the big disaster. But now we can uh, get past all this crap too. Could we fought everything. You know the rules. And there's going to be enemies in here. Which I should probably fight. Because otherwise they're going to be annoying. Why are you shivering? That's just creepy. There we go. And take this guy out. But yeah. This new TV by the way guys, is awesome. Like it's freaking epic. I'm loving it. But it the only thing is man this game is dark man it's super dark all right oh god it's so bad dude i'm gonna try to do this and just hope for the best okay okay again i don't mean to two-hand my shield but this is what you want to do right here get behind here right and then this way you got some cover and now we can actually start to try to deal with it i can't lock on this guy here we go Okay, knocked him over. A couple guard counters and stuff should do that in general. Now we got this other one. He's doing it. the meteor. Yeah, definitely stand where the guardrail is. Because if you don't, that could have been a disaster. That probably would have knocked me off. C can you stop, dude? Dude, can you stop? Oh, really? Really, dude. This is crazy, dude. This guy, this is crazy. Can you stop? Fall over, please. Jesus, these guys are so freaking hard. And yeah, the good news, though, is that we're about to unlock a shortcut. 
And the shortcut is going to take us back to the beginning, which means that we can then rest, and all we have to do is the boss. And then we have to do the second part. Now, you know, I've been talking about making progression. Oh, God, I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> like I said, I'm sick. Sorry. But um, I've been talking about making progression, but I have, you know, made the decision that I should be doing this stuff before I actually, like, completely, like, beat the game. So I don't know. You know, in the next episode, I'm pretty sure... And I do, by the way, want the next episode to come out, like, quicker to make up for the fact that it was a long gap between, like, the last episode and this one. So I'm hoping in the next couple days I can just go ahead and do the next episode. But, and here's the elevator. This is a shortcut. But I need to decide, like, what do I want to do? Do I want to do the second half of this area? Or do I want to make some progression? I'm thinking I'm going to actually finish this area up, you know? Because that this is the super, super hard, like, stuff. I mean, the end of the game is hard, too. Don't get me wrong. That is hard as well. But nothing compares to, like, the boss of this place. And just this area. This area is stupid, stupid difficult. So that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. And yeah, after I beat this boss, though, that's going to be it for this episode. And hopefully, I will feel better. You know, I do actually feel a lot better, to be honest, like, compared to what I was. But I've been sick now for, like, nine days. And it's, like, it's gotten better, and then it's gotten worse. It got better, it got worse. But I think I'm finally getting over it. All right, let me go ahead and chug. Let's put out this. And look! It's actually a buddy of ours. We fought this thing before as the ghost form. This is a way stronger version of it, but uh, still, this should be a joke. As long as we can get some stuns off, maybe. Ow. Come on, Black Knife, do your thing. The magic is going to make this thing hit hard. Okay, Black Knife is doing its awesome job right now. Oh my god, it's doing it again. Drain that freaking health from me, please. Oh my god, this weapon. So ridiculous. Chuck that. Block the rest of the stuff. There we go. And bye-bye. Woo! And yeah, we just got the weapon and the spell. And that is awesome. Alright, let me go hit this grace. And I'm surprised I didn't get like that many runes off that fight. That's crazy. Because like that blood boss I fought. That boss gave me like 500,000. It's just insanity. Alrighty, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed it and that it has helped. If it has, will you please like the video for me and be sure to subscribe for future episodes of this series. And if you do, make sure to click the bell. That way you can stay notified. Thank you so much for watching. And I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day. And peace out.